Hello. Good morning. This is so silent when I'm walking up here. It's like a light. I'm not used to that from you guys. Um, so yeah, Norman, um, he's a representative of Edimax, and as um, a lot of you recall, Edimax is, like many of our um, very popular suppliers, and they're a Taiwanese um, global company, but from Taiwan. Um, they make a lot of um, pretty fantastic products. I've just sat through the last session, so I'm very excited about, yep. about this product indeed. So yeah, pay attention. Nice and simple, and, sure. and you know, a lot of technology on it. So sure, of course. Yeah. Congrats on that. Sure. All right, and, and thank you, thank you. Yeah, um, see, the, uh, this one uh, today, um, previously we sell your device. Today, I'm not going to sell a device. I sell you the solution. Okay, so uh, what we call the Office 123. To, to put it in one sentence, this one's uh, simple. This one's a pre config unified Wi Fi network system. When I say pre config, means the there's a three AP in, within this box. They'll be pre-config when you open the box. So they're already linked together. They're already linked together. Cool. Good, good, good. So for your installers, for your for your projects, this one will be the ideal solution for them. Okay? Okay. Not only that, but also this one, um, normally you already know the 11 AC technology, right? This one's uh, 11 AC Wave 2. What is Wave 2? I will give you another um, section about what's the eight, wait, uh, you have wait, wave two compared with the wave one. Okay, let's start. I yeah. Thank you. Uh, just a brief idea about the managed system, managed Wi Fi system. Some people call it a unified Wi Fi system. Okay? Uh, within the network, they come with a, one master, we call the AP controllers. The AP controllers control all the APs within the network. When you do the setting, you don't need to go to individual the AP to do the setting. You go, to look, you go to the AP controllers to do the setting, and then deploy all the settings within the network, like a firmware upgrade or those the, uh, AP or a password, those kind of things. That's what we call the manage a Wi-Fi network, and that some people call unified Wi-Fi network. Okay, what's the difference, what's the ADMAX can do? We have an enterprise grade, previously already sell, okay, for a couple of years. This one's called APC500. APC they can control up to 128 access point. Okay, this is enterprise grade. Need you to do a setting of this one. And also, if you just for office, I don't need enterprise grade. How can I do? We have an office one, two, three, this one on the table. If you don't need, if you don't need the controllers, Single AP, just goes, goes here. Okay, so this one's pre config so just like you, uh, as I said, auto connect already. So there's one master, two slave. The master also AP, so you don't need to worry about whether you lose one AP because of these structures. Okay, all those APs that perform three SSIDs. Okay, well done. Uh, at least, okay. One is a guest network, the middle one is office network, and the third is a device network. What's the difference? Looks like here, okay? Guest network is everyone already know, okay? Uh, you, your customer come in, then you can give, you give it a username and password, they log into a Wi-Fi, and they go out to see Fiverr. Office network, we also provide your KPU portals, so all the employees, they have uh, their own username and password. Okay, it's different from other already. This is a capacity portal. So individually, you have username and password within the network. So good thing about this, you, won't, you, don't, you don't need to worry about the, your pa password leaking to other irrelevant stuff. Okay, this one do the job. Device network is uh, for those devices like uh, RFID, Wi-Fi scanners, or barcode scanners. They don't have the user interface to help you to log into the Wi-Fi network then we can record their MAC address, then they will be able to access to the network, okay? So different interface, different, three different authentications. Okay, we will give you the IP finders, because, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, please. How do you set those particular functions? You can go back a slide. So you've got... Um, Guest network, office network. Office network, device network. Yeah. Um, 
Is it's that just from the get-go that it's there? <laughs> yeah. So for you, complicated, 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 because previously the system you uh, you've been using, like ubiquity, TPD, or even Edimax, you need <laughs> go to the UI, do the setting one by just one by one. IP directly into it. This one, I will show you at half sections. I will show you how easy to set up these three. Okay, this is also one of the fantastic functions. We will help you to, to minimize all the work, and then you can set up Office Network, just one spreadsheet. Okay, I will show it to you, and another sections. Hello. So, thank you. Okay. Uh, if you have any, any questions, just interrupt me. Don't worry, okay, I like, I like questions. Okay, IP finders. Okay, so of course you, you don't know where's the IP because this is not routers. Okay, so whenever you plug to the network, you will get an IP address from the, your routers already or from gateway. So you don't know which one is your master. We give you IP finders, PC, uh, PC uh, version, and also um, phone versions, app, app. You can easily to identify where is your master. So you find the IP not on the unit, you actually find it by accessing your router that you've plugged in? Uh, you, they were, when you plug it to the network, already they already connect with Wi-Fi, and then you can use the uh, PC to connect the network, and then see which one is your, they will, they will tell you which IP. It displays its own Wi-Fi signal for an, like an initial setup, does it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Or you go, you go log into the uh, original uh, Wi-Fi from the gateway, you also can see that, yeah. And, uh, Another good thing about it is, is although it's three in one pack, right? If your customer wants to do four, five, six, up to 16, okay, what they need to do is just buy another one from you and then plug to the network, no setting. Yep, so because what they will do, they copy the setting from the masters and then deploy it to the new one. Easy. So okay. You can reset that master as a slave, can you? If you purchase. Uh, yeah, of course you can. If you are advanced users, yeah, you can. You even can set a slave into the masters. Yeah. So if you are advanced user, you want to play with it, go ahead. They can do that. In individual, they can be a master or a slave. But uh, but uh, under pre configuration, there's only one masters within this box. Okay. So it's good for project. Okay, because your customer might. Expand to another network. You don't need to spend a lot of money to do the setting again. Your time to do the setting again. This one will automatically copy the setting for your master, and uh, then your another job finish. Yeah, please. So when you go to get a system of more than one box, uh, do you have to change the master setting of the second and third box and whatever to a slave? See, this one's a three-one pack, right? This comes with major. Uh, this one uh, master. And we will individual pack. Yeah. We call the Office Plus one. And they're just slaves. They're just slaves. Oh, it's like a box of slaves. Okay. Yeah. yeah, they're all slaves. Uh, yeah. Add on to it. Yeah, Office Plus one uh, is a slave. Okay, so you buy three slaves to put with the Office one to three. Yeah, then, then we become six. Yeah. Yeah. Or, or if you are, yeah. you want to play with it. Oh, you <laughs> Same hardware. Exactly the same. Yeah. So if you uh, want to play with it, just buy Office Plus one. You can you can turn that one into a master. Buy another one. You finish another job to follow two APs. Theoretically, you get like the Office one, two, three. You could use like a, a main unit with an a passive unit. You have those there. Yep. And then you could also take another one away and make it a master unit in a different location for a different. Yeah. Yeah. You can. Network. You can. But if, if you are an advanced user, you know how to play with the advanced setting, okay. Um, we, we have an easy UI, easy installation UI for those people, like the installer, they want to quick, quick and easy, finish job and go, get money and go, this one will do. But if you want to do the complicated setting, no worries, you still can do the job. We have a user interface for you to do those settings. Oh, of course, this one. <laughs> yeah, efficiency, uh, yeah, you can. Save more time, get another job. Yep. IP finders, we can only with PC version and also the IPP for the phone. You can easily identify where, where's the master, where's the slave. Okay, and then once you see the master, click the IP address, log into the UI, finish. Okay. 
The key selling point, this one is uh, um, each, each employee that will have their own Wi-Fi account. So we should prevent the, your password leaking. You don't need to worry about your password has been shared by other staff. And does that give like logging capability too? Can you see how much that employee has downloaded or? Uh, we we don't have the anything behind that to monitor the status, what what the application they are playing. We don't have we don't build in those module within the system, because for those jobs you need buy another system to to do that. Okay, but we have the bandwidth control, so we only build in the bandwidth control. Okay, for example, you want to have an office user have wider bandwidth, this one can do the job. For gas network, you can have limited bandwidth, this one can do the job. But others application, just like you say, um, uh, we don't we 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 don't build build on this. We want to just purely do the Wi-Fi system. But some people, some application, they need to another server to do the control like this. Yes, they do in the market. Yeah. And also device network can do the mac access control. And also easy installation, up to 16 AP. Okay. Key selling point, this is up, service up to 256 office users. Okay. And uh, you can offer service 512 Guess, uh, users. This one is uh, 11 AC Wave 2. Even H Wave 2 comes with uh, four advanced features. One is uh, airtime fitness, the other one is roaming. I will show you to you the difference between uh, the first generation and the second generation. Okay, this is how, how we say about every individual employee, they have a own, their own username and password. So, so we will be provide a better security for your network, for your office. Okay, now I'm going to tell you what's the difference between the AC, 11 AC and the AC Wave 2. Um, AC Wave 2 comes with NU MIMO. NU MIMO compares previously to MIMO. Okay, the difference is like this. Through MIMO means all the traditional routers, like currently selling, or ADMS, this is a TV thing or others. Individual routers, the service custom one by one by one. Service the client one by one by one. So the bandwidth will be shared like this, okay? For the NU MIMO, they service the uh, client four, 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 four. So individual signal is generate four string to reach all the customers. So they, within the four, you can still re remain the same bandwidth as your WAN. So improve a lot of uh, efficiency. So NU MIMO. And uh, this is uh, um, the average improvement, okay? Also, another one called uh, another advanced features within uh, uh, Wave Two, we call the uh, airtime fairness. Airtime fairness, okay. Airtime fairness. Uh, this one's uh, without airtime fairness. This one with uh, airtime fairness. The difference between this and this is the uh, performance. How the old PC like uh, 11 BGN, they may the download speed might be slow, okay. But another users maybe have a faster performance within the, 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 the old technologies. So the, your routers or Wi-Fi will service customer one by one, okay? So they will service the A customers first, A client first, and then, ten, and, and then um, B client. So because this one's slow, so after they download, uh, after within the 10 second, they spend A second to download A megabit. Easy to understand. The other one is faster, so they spend two seconds to download 10 megabit. So within this environment, altogether it's 18 megabit. Okay, this is all technology. We saw airtime fairness. With airtime fairness, which means they service customers all the time, simultaneously. It's not individually. So it doesn't matter you are, uh, you are the uh, old legacy device or new technologies. Within the 10 seconds, you will download the uh, five second finish, five second finish, you will download uh, all together 30 megabyte. So with air fairness, because they service customers simultaneously, not individually, not sequently. So this one get better bandwidth. This is air fairness. Uh, this technology is within the um, 11 AC Wave 2. Currently, 
However, you sell is not doesn't come with this yet. But later, of course, they will implement the airtime finance. Okay. Roaming. Our roaming is different. Our roaming follow the enterprise grade roaming, what we call the uh, A0211R slash K. This is enterprise roaming. Normally, you will see this enterprise roaming within the HP or Cisco. The difference between the uh, enterprise roaming and the property roaming is about the downtime, the handover time. The downtime of the 11 uh, RK, the maximum is at 0 0.2 second. The maximum, okay? For the property roaming, like uh, other, like a TV thing or ubiquity, what they call the roaming, um, because they didn't follow the standard, the downtime is normally roughly will be two seconds above. Huge difference, okay? So why I need to use this? No difference. There's a huge difference when you play music. Okay, there's a huge difference when you are uh, using a VoIP in the office because VoIP phone is under a thick protocol. Every second drop, you lose the connections. Yep, like uh, you play, if, you, if, you, if your customers in stores, they, um, they are doing um, sonar systems. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when, when, they, when they play the uh, Spotify from the iPhone and then they're traveling like this, then the music will drop. Okay, because they travel from one AP to another AP, and the behind the scene, they try to hand over this client to another AP. The downtime is two seconds above if you're using the property roaming. But with this one, they don't feel anything. Okay. They don't feel any drop. They just. Cool. Okay, so this is called, called the enterprise roaming. It perfectly works with the iPhone or any iPad because all the iPhone, iPad, they also follow the uh, 11R, 11K protocols. Enjoy depends on the chipset. Mm -hmm. Okay? Okay, la last one is the band steering. This is also advanced features within the 11AC Wave 2. What does band steering mean? Band steering, mean, steering means that, see, the, for the old technologies, people um, either log into the 2.4 gigahertz or 5 gigahertz. Okay, so you see a bunch of people uh, use the 2.4 gigahertz, a bunch of people using the 5 gigahertz. So you know, nothing you can change it. Depends on everyone's mind, everyone's will. For band steering, um, behind the scene, the AP will try to allocate each users to use the, the each band um, on the balance mode, which means the they will see which one is really congestion. And then they will take users from 2.4 gigahertz to 5 gigahertz. Or, or from 2, 5 gigahertz to 2.4 gigahertz. So which means you will have better Wi-Fi experience for your users. In this case, in this case, you won't, you won't see two as society, you will only see one. Okay, previously it's 2.4 gigahertz. SSID and another one for gigahertz. So within our box, you will see one. And the, you don't need to worry about the two point, whether it's 2.4 or 5 gigahertz, because they will auto adjust, allocate the users to different, uh, the better bandwidth, the better band. Okay, this is what we call the band steering. Okay, again, AC Wave 2 comes with those advanced features like uh, band steering, airtime fairness, uh, NU MIMO. Okay, so th they are different from the first generations. Okay, uh, gradually you will see more AC Wave 2 coming to the market. Okay, probably currently you don't, but later you will see because 11 AC Wave 2 still, the price still there. Okay, but this one is not that expensive. Okay, as I said, uh, we can <coughs> do those uh, 16 APs. The office user 256, you already mentioned. The limitation of our system, of course, there's a disadvantage. Currently, <laughs> we don't have cloud yet. Okay, compared with TV, uh, compared with, sorry, ubiquity, they do. Okay, we don't have cloud. But you can remote log in to do a setting if you want. For installers, mm, sometimes easy. Okay, as I said, we have an office network, device network, guest network for different purposes. And also you can deploy this one into a large house. For example, some people they don't want to play with the sonar systems. Okay. This one would be ideal for those jobs. Okay, 
Compared with uh, ubiquity, currently they sell 11 ACU Wave 1. Later on, they will release Wave 2. Office 1, 2, 3, AD Max, OD Wave, AC Wave 2. And also, this one is a 3 in 1 system, pre config. Okay, so we, we think we are easy setup. Okay, and uh, if you um, want to build out a 3 in 1 system within a uh, Ubiquity, you might need a PC or some more dongles. Cost you $70 extra. This one, or the all in one, pre config. You don't need to buy anything extra. Okay, deploy the network just like this. This one normally is, will be the tail struck gateway, tail struck router, or optus router. Get a PoE switch, and then plug to the uh, PoE switch, finish. The IP address will come in from here. There's no IP address, okay? So there's no uh, double MAT issues. For TB in Tackle, they also three in one pack, but all different. They are aiming for the Soho. Individual one is the router, okay? Individual one is the router. For example, if you, this, if, if, if this one is the Telstra gateway, if you set another router behind that, there will be double MAT. Sometimes it will cause you issues. So, yep. This compared with uh, De Deco, and uh, they don't have the individual Wi-Fi username and password for them. So purely they are for they are great. They are also, they are I mean for the um, home users. We have similar competitors like uh, HP. They do they do all release similar pack. Uh, what they call the HP Office Connect for the office use. The difference between Edimas and them, uh, they still they don't have cloud yet. Same as us. Individual employees share the same username and password. But we are in the, uh, highly security compared with them. And no account based cavity protocol. We have a cavity, port protocol, cavity portal. Also, Cisco, Cisco have a similar ideas, 3 in 1 pack. Okay? They have cloud, but you need to pay the monthly fee. Okay? But they don't have a cavity portal yet. This comparison between the three uh, major three in one pack in the market. This is Office 123, Eddie Max, and this is HP and the Cisco. They're all coming to the market. So you, you see the trend. People all working to these uh, directions. So compared with them, we, we have an account for each employee, and we have cavity portal for guests or for office network, and uh, we don't have cloud, but we are developing. Okay, so that will be next business we are talking about, three in one pack. Probably compared with then, we are a little, a, a little bit advanced. So in order to do a uh, solution, of course you need to bundle with switches. Uh, one bundle, bundle one, you can do the 24 ball gigabit in order to get a better expansion. And then this, this one tells you the advantage for our um, 24 port gigabit uh, pure switch. They can do voice VLAN. Okay. And the bundle two you can do with the uh, entry level. A port uh, pure switch with four pure port for small job. Okay. This one will be uh, budget solutions. They can also can do the job. Okay. This is about the system. Okay, now I'm going to show you the setting. Okay, this is the questions. Then, so let me show it to you. <coughs> uh, to set out this device, actually, it's uh, much. It's just like a Soho routers. Okay, although they come with so many features, you don't need to worry about that because all the pre config. Okay, so let's uh, show. Let us see what's the user interface and also <coughs> how to set out this device. Yeah. Okay. Again, you see this diagram already? This is how you, how you, how you work. Plug to a network with PoE. Okay, and then you get an IP finder. IP finder to get a master IP address. And then you will see which one is the IP uh, master. Log in to the IP address and open the web interface and then you will see. This first page is just like this, admin and the password, um, oh, which is uh, admin123, the first page, okay? And the first page, of course, straight away asks you to change your username and password. 
of the this system. Okay, they change the, the admin username and password. As you have to do that as first step. So which means to provide you high security. Second page, just like uh, uh, routers, you need to set a time. A time wrong, easy. And then now it's a start from the guest network. Okay, you need to provide a guest SID, like a radio part, guest radio part. And then, of course, this one needs a password. Okay. And the, here is the bandwidth limit. Okay, you can disable and the, yeah. Yeah, I'll have to tap it off depending on what it is. Yeah. This one's the office network, okay? You, all you need to do is just set up SSID only. There's no password because individual employee has their own password. So for example, red, um, office dash radio parts. So there's an import, sorry. Yeah. Uh, is there an import functionality to import list of employees and password? Good questions. Um, my question was, you're giving the SSID and assigning that to an employee. Um, when they access the Wi-Fi network and connect to it, are they then brought to a, a different web page where they set up their password? Uh, yeah. <coughs> yeah. 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 So your question, your uh, your question will, the answer of your question will be next page. Okay. Oh, the file the page. This one's device network. You can set a device as a society. For example, dev uh, device radio parts. Okay, there's new username and password. You can set up bandwidth. But this one managed by the MAC address. You can put a list of a MAC address. And uh, this is about guest network. You can set up the bandwidth, a cavity portal. You can design a cavity portal for the guest network. Okay, this one. This. Okay, this is uh, the table you're going to manage for each employee. Okay, you can add, for example, John, John123, and then users. Okay, you can create a list within here, or you can um, download, download the page, this one. You will turn into the expression, and then you can fill in the, the columns. Uh, Mary, others blah, 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 and the password and then upload again so you don't need to create the password and password over here you can offline easily manage those username and password from your spreadsheet okay you can even can you can link with the the name with your um, employee SSID okay and the password they can set up manage from the spreadsheet within this page yeah. Uh, this because only I mean only can see this page. Okay, of course, of course you will see the password. Okay, not all the people, not only the main. Okay, so to manage the this, this is from here, easy. And which which format file list? Just like this. Or like CSV, Excel. Yeah, yeah. And all of those. Uh, CSV and Excel. Okay. Or the or the Wi-Fi Google. I forgot. Yeah, Excel I forgot. Special. Yeah, especially. And then you can manage that. So for MIS, use MIS. You all have MIS here. You can manage your table easily over here, offline or online. Can you delete a user? Yeah, over here. Delete a user. You can add, edit, or delete from here, or just. Um, download the list, update and uh, edit the list, and upload the list again from here. So, so easy. If you upload something, does it delete the old list? Does that add to it? Uh, sorry, you can. When you upload the list, does it delete the old list? Yep, okay. yeah, of course. List. Yeah, so once you upload the list, they will completely new. Yep. Okay? So, just like here. Nearly finished. Uh, sorry, that is finished. After you, after you finish this step, means you finish your setting. Uh, huh? cool. Enterprise grade, roaming, airtime fairness, band steering, wave two. Oh, is already set. Oh, set. Yeah. Have another 
relatively yeah, low please. function. Can it be rather than click by a user automated to be happening with software? So writing a piece of code that would update the list automatically. Like is it a function? Is it an open function? The upload list? Or is it more of a closed? Uh, this is closed. The, uh, we don't. We don't want to. Yeah, we don't want to do too complicated. Otherwise, yeah, people yeah, will. Ah, oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, this one is much easier, easy to understand. Yeah. So, so even doesn't matter whether you set out the enterprise AP before, you can do the job. As long as you have experience to set out the routers, or server routers, for those installers, this job is much easier. Easier. Yeah. yeah. Compare with uh, other systems like a Ubiquiti or TPD or others. This one just open the box. Yeah. Talk to a name, POE switch. Go to a UI. Username, password. Upload list. Finish. Yeah. Money. Go. Money. Money. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, see the. Um, I still I still discuss with the John yeah because you are the first customer we are we selling to the Australia and the, do the training. So uh, currently we aiming for the RP about five nine nine. And uh, your yeah, your listing price will be four nine nine roughly, okay. For the inv individual AP, like uh, this one, this one comes with the POE and the gigabit pool and also DC power. This one's a uh, um, AC thirteen hundred. The individual unit from Ubiquiti, the AC wave two, the retail price is about six ninety nine. Individual unit, the AC wave two. Uh, our three one pack. We focus on the easy installation, pre-configuration, 499 to 6599. But you still have plenty of margins. Yeah. Don't worry about that. More. Yeah, so if you if you are happy to sell better price, let me know. Yeah. <laughs> so they will have to go back to like your POS switch or can you have one master and then just have them powered up and they work as repeaters? Are they passing? Uh, that way, in that way there will be a uh, delayed uh, roaming. Mm -hmm. Because between the routers, they still communicate. Yeah. It, of course, they can do that, but it's advanced setting. But uh, you will lose the advantage of the roaming. Yeah. yeah. Uh, passive POE? Yeah, uh, this, uh, this is standard POE. This is second port, just only gigabit. It's just yeah, there's no POE it's output. Switch. Yeah. yeah, just switch. Yeah, you can connect with a uh, IP camera, yeah. intercom, or printers, however you want. Okay. So yeah, this is finished, the setting. Okay, so just uh, another uh, idea about repeat, the previous presentation, okay. This is how the UI looks like. If you want to do the another configuration, if you want, go, go to this user interface. That dashboard UI, so easy to understand as well. Okay, and uh, some advanced settings I already mentioned. And also the graphic design for the user user interface. You won't have too much confusion. And also you can do the advanced setting. Was that a time limit that you could place on SSID as well? Sorry? Okay. Okay. Is there a time limit that you could place on SSID as well? So like you can have office hours if the building's open or something like that? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can, but uh, you need to do the, wow. yeah. you need to do, go to the advanced setting to do that. <laughs> okay, and another selling point of this is, and another selling point, the major selling point of this one, the first one is a pre-configuration, secondly is a AC Wave 2, thirdly is a expandable. Yeah. Yeah, and so if your customer want to get more AP or auto AP data, we will have auto AP within this range. And then you can just simply plug and play, and the AP will auto connect with to the network. And uh, for the, your installers or you, you don't need to do any setting. In the finish, cool. but even the list, they will copy the list to the eight new AP. Don't need to worry about that. And also, uh, yes, you will get Office Plus One soon. I haven't said how you set up? Yeah, yeah. probably uh, 169 to 189. That's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, 99. I hope everyone can more make more. Yeah. I've got another question about the range, like which area can one unit cover? Okay, 
Uh, see, normally when you sell AP, people come into you, so it's, what's the coverage? Uh, the, you don't. Yeah, that is, yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly. Depends on the. It really depends on the users. If you just want to see the SSID, if you want to just want to get SSID, about 100 meters. But if you want to use YouTube, it will be within 20 meters. The reason being because of the further distance, the bandwidth is limited, lower. So you. Can, so this is the answer the questions. So, so within the range, you get the better bandwidth. So again, how to design the network, Wi-Fi network for your customer, really depends on their use. If, you want, if they want to use roaming, they want to watch audio visual, like a YouTube, of course, you, the density of this AP will be much, uh, you need to consider the density of the, uh, the user. So you better to set the AP within 20 meters. Yeah, AP with 20 meters. Yeah, and then you have a better Wi-Fi experience. But if you are just only for warehouse, and the one users get the, uh, the scanners, then you don't need to worry about that too much. It can probably 50 meters. So it really depends on the user want, uh, user environments. So normally we won't compare about the, the distance. There's no, there's for for most cases, the irrelevant. So when someone asks you questions, you need to ask just like me to answer the questions. Yeah, what I try to do is that. Yeah, correct. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, signal actually the the antenna just surround this. Yes. Above. Uh, there's no no signals behind this. Yeah. So if you want a second level, you're going to put the second set. Yeah. Yeah, and in this way it's better. Okay. Sure. And uh, I have uh, one uh, giveaway. Um, okay, it's um, AP, IP cameras, AD Max for the door. Okay. A simple question for, for you. Just uh, the quickest get a price. Okay, how many APs? Uh, <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> thank you. But the, the gentleman raised their hand. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thank you for your support. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. How many APs <laughs> So, any question? Let me know. I'm here. Okay, so this one, uh, we at least. Uh, we are the one year or two years ahead uh, compared with other competitors. Uh, they will follow us eventually. So we, at least we have uh, one or two years we can um, sell to your installers and then help them to make more margin, more monies, and they can do. Then you can get more job from you because of this, because of Edimax. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, sorry, uh, they just arrived. They just arrived. Office plus one. Yep. So we can tell our customers that if they want to uh, you know, expand, just plug it into a network. Don't worry about plug it. into the uh, it. Uh, original Elvis yeah. plus one network. Mm -hmm. That's it. And that's it. That's it. No, so adding more no, 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 no. Don't do anything. Yeah. They, they will confuse. Yeah. If they know, of course they can. But uh, because so they pre, pre config so the master will recognize slave straight away. And also, they will deploy the setting, all the setting to the new one. Okay, so don't need to do anything. But if you are an advanced user, you want to play with it, welcome. Yep. Cool. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.